Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another monthly. This is, of course, for August 2017. Now, before we get started on this month, let's talk about last month. Last month was pretty bad. Like, when I look back at it and kind of inspect the work that I did do in that month, I know I could have done better. Not so much in the quality, but the quantity. I mean, it was pretty bad. I suppose I did take somewhat of a break. Not an official break, you know, I just kind of pissed around for a week or two. Because January and July are the two worst paying months in the year for YouTubers, so I always think why put in effort in that week when I could put more effort into another week where I'll make double the money. Which from a business standpoint is spot on. I can understand why from a viewer's perspective that's not so good. But there was some cognitive reasoning behind why last month was so slow. And while I did decide the best decision would be to take it easy, have a little break if I'm ever going to have a break, it should be when the pay is the lowest, so financially I suffer the least. But I must say, looking back on last month doesn't make me happy, even though I know the break was good. So I don't know if I'll be doing that again anytime soon. I must defend myself, however, in the last two weeks of last month was pretty hardcore. Purely in terms of YouTube. I made the uh, video based on Rorikstead, which turned out to be quite a can of worms. Well worth it in the end though, as always, however long it takes to make a video, that's how long I'll put into it. Little did I know though, that was a lot of time needed to go into that video. And hopefully that doesn't happen again, because it does get a point where you're like, I've been working on this for a month now, and I still haven't finished this damn video. But I'm glad that video is done, and I'm glad it kind of signified the end of a low work effort month. So this month, in terms of content, I don't know what I'm going to make. I don't want to make any plans, but, but I will just follow my heart and know this while I do do that, I will do my best. So in your times of darkness, have that as a creature comfort. So with that aside, let's get on to the Q&A for this month. And if you do have any questions that you would like me to answer, please feel free to leave them in the comment section of this video. And hopefully for you in next month's monthly, I'll answer it there. For some reason, there was a massive influx of comments, so we do have a lot of questions. So let's get started. Do you enjoy the smell of roses? I actually hate the smell of flowers. I don't know if I'm alone in this, but flowers smell like poison. Of the bad guy factions in the Fallout series, who would you rather be a part of the Enclave, Caesar's Legion, or the Institute, the Enclave? How well can you shred on that guitar in the background? Well, prepare yourselves. If Bethesda decided to use Elsewhere as the location for the next Elder Scrolls game, do you think they'd stay faithful to the lore? Or do you think they'd completely fuck it up? Just to clarify for people in the lore, depending on what moon cycle, what the fuck is that, uh, the Khajiit are born under, will determine their physical form. So we have the Khajiit, like we see in uh, Skyrim, for example, these kind of cat humans. There are also some Khajiit that look identical to normal humans. There are some Khajiit that are about 20 feet tall, there are some that are giant lions, and some Khajiit turn out to look like house cats, while they are all equally as cognitive. So while that would be law friendly, I really don't want to see that, man. It just sounds really fucking dumb, getting quests off house cats, like, ugh. What PC do you use? Have you ever played CS? I don't think I have played Counter-Strike, and I use this PC. What's your favorite film? At the moment, Dunkirk, just cause I saw it, it's a damn good movie. Do you like bacon? If so, you prefer tur turkey bacon? Or pig bacon? Uh, I would go with pig bacon, and even then, bacon, it's, I find it pretty average. Will you play Bruma, all of Cyrodiil, when it's released? I am aware that modification came out, the Bruma mod, I don't even know what it's called, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Haven't had a chance to touch it. Do you think you'd look better with short hair? You can decide that, right here. What is your favorite Elder Scrolls game and your favorite Fallout game and why? Elder Scrolls Morrowind, um, uh, what the fuck was the other one? Fallout would be New Vegas. Why? Because they're damn good. In terms of YouTube though, it would be Skyrim and Fallout 4 just because... All the money! You have to be addicted to one chem from Fallout, which would you choose and why? Hair braided into a Viking ponytail? Yeah, that's too much effort. <laughs> chem and why? Jet and because it's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. I'd love to see more of your Morrowind or maybe Oblivion unique weapons and armor. Yeah, those videos are kind of boring to make and in terms of views, they don't perform that well. So maybe one day, maybe one day. If you could choose one Daedric artifact to own in real life, what would it be? Now that is a tough question. Hmm, probably the skeleton key. That's probably the most practical 
He said weapon. No, artifact, yeah, skeleton key. I can unlock any doors with um without the need of any skills, which is good because I do not have lock picking skills. Ocean's 13, Nightingale. <laughs> this is really difficult. How did you and Fudge Muppet meet? Well, they went, Oi, Brett, let's meet up. And I went, yeah, boy. And then we met up. I always see their guitar in the background. Will you ever play it on screen? Look, to be honest, you wouldn't even be able to tell it to me when I play it. All right, you asked for it. Not quite my tempo. Do you think Bethesda should allow another developer to make more Fallout games? And I'm gonna add in Elder Scrolls games, and yes, they definitely should. As far as I can tell, there's no downside to it. I've got other companies making games in their IPs, so they get most of the money. It just means games get out twice as quickly, which is way better for the fans. I mean, there's gonna be a wait time of about 10 years between Skyrim and the next Elder Scrolls, which is not good. That's not healthy, dude. I mean, seriously, I think Bethesda owes it to their fans to hand over some of the IPs to other, not even hand them over, just go, okay, you make one game. And when they did do it with Fallout New Vegas, with Obsidian, it was the best Fallout game that I've played. So we're getting good games twice as often and Bethesda makes most of the money. You're goddamn genius. Yeah, they should do it more often. Do you get much time to play many games other than Fallout and Elder Scrolls? If so, what is your go-to game at the moment when not playing Fallout or Elder Scrolls? Um, to be honest, no, I don't get much time to, to play many other games, which is fine. I mean, it's a sacrifice. Who's your favorite Elder Scrolls character? Go with Nelof. I don't know if he actually is, but... Oh, okay, okay, let's go with Yagrum Bagan. What the fuck? What is that guy's name? The fact I can't remember this guy's name, probably... Yeah, your grum began, there you go. Will you ever do lore-related stuff about Bethesda's new IP? Yeah, definitely, dude. When lightning strikes the sea, why don't all the fish die? Because of resistance. Is math related to science? What do you think of the Skyrim VR and Fallout 4 VR, by the way? Was it you that farted in the bathroom in the E3 video? Well, save the queen. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a fart, dude. Let me tell you that. That was 34 ounces of prune juice. Go and watch the E3 video, trust me. Anyway, Skyrim VR and Fallout 4 VR is, it's pretty re-re. Yeah, I don't think VR's ready. Wait, that's not the good spot. It's, 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 it's face the front. <laughs> He's gonna break it. I just want to see him like rip the PlayStation off the table. So do you like the new Spider-Man? I don't like superhero movies. And if that upsets you, come get me. You can't, because you don't have superpowers. Oh! How long have you been playing Bethesda games and which game do you have the most hours in? I think since 2003 is when I got Morrowind, so 14 years. And most playtime probably would be in Morrowind on my Xbox. But given I've played all their games across many different platforms, I, there's no way of calculating that. What was the process of growing your hair out like and how long did it take? I had a shaved head two and a half years ago, so I literally just didn't cut my hair, and now it's here. Do you even gent, bro? I thought. <laughs> Would you like it if Bethesda hired and paid some well-known modders to make the next Elder Scrolls better? Yes. Okay, I don't know who those people are, but um, yeah, they should. I think that's a great idea. And it's actually interesting you should mention that because not even this year, but last year at E3, I remember, I won't name who, but one of the Bethesda staff that I was going to meet, I had to wait a couple of minutes because they were in a meeting with someone who made a campfire mod or something like that. Someone made a mod for Fallout 4, I think it was, that made fires look a billion times better. And this Bethesda staff member was in a meeting with them. Eh? Eh? It might already be happening, bruh. Which Fallout game after 2 would you prefer in New Vegas? Would you rather have a perfect Elder Scrolls 6 in Elsewhere? Or Elder Scrolls 6 Argonia according to the stuff in your video? Argonia. Just because talking cats doesn't interest me. What's your favorite play style for Skyrim hack and slash boy? What's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? Have fun, man. That's it. Have fun. If you're not doing that, you're, you're losing. Mate, my hair is as long as yours but it's all fucked up, how do I keep it so neat? This isn't neat, dude, this is fucked. This is a fucking mess. Look at this, dog. I had it tied up um, for like five days and slept on it, and now I have Wookie hair. Any chance of you coming to Melbourne Packs? I'll be there at Melbourne Packs. Do all Australians have boomerangs? No, I had one, threw it once, and it got stuck in a tree, so fuck boomerang. Would you rather sleep with Sabeel Stentor or Hagraven? Give me that Sabeel boy. I wanted to buy the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for my computer, but Bethesda took it down from Steam. 
And now there is only special edition available, which I can't run. What do you think about this? I'm gonna check that. Ah, <sighs> store. Oh yes. Huh. Yeah, it's true, it's not on Steam. Only Special Edition is on Steam. I get it that they want to force people to buy their newer game so the sales go up, but surely... Surely that's not a good move, dude. I do agree, that's pretty fucked up they took it down. Surely it's more beneficial to have Skyrim Special Edition and Skyrim still up, correct? In cases, for example, like this, where you can't run Special Edition, so you need the normal Skyrim, which they don't have available to you. Therefore, you now can't spend your money on their game. And of course, what do they want to do? They want to sell their game. So yes, quite strange indeed. What shampoo and conditioner do you use? The blood of small children. It's an Aztec shampoo. Do you prefer being the chosen one in Morrowind and Skyrim, or being a badass that forges their own legend in Oblivion? Fagafell, what the fuck? While in Morrowind you are part of a prophecy, just like in Skyrim, in Morrowind it doesn't help you at all. In Morrowind, you are the Nerevarine. However, it's like if Jesus came back and he's like, hey, is Jesus here? Everyone's like, the fuck are you talking about? Lock this crazy guy up. That's how you treat it in Morrowind. No one believes you. All the ass tribes you have to help to fulfill this prophecy are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Saying he's the Nerevarine. And it's good, you, like the whole main quest is kind of based around you proving yourself to these people. Not even proving yourself, but gaining their trust. Whereas in Skyrim, it's like, you were the dragonborn. No one ever questions it because you can go, force rod up and blow fucking people off cliffs. It's what they call a power fantasy where they just go, you are super powerful. So I actually do prefer, I mean, blowing people off cliffs is fun, but I do prefer it where you're, you're a normal dude and you might be part of a prophecy, but being part of that prophecy doesn't help you at all. It doesn't make you any more powerful than anyone else in the world. Would you ever like to get good at Overwatch and play competitively? You're Australian, you have to be good at it in some regard. I don't know what that means. Overwatch is fun. Overwatch is one of those games I would love to be good at, but anything to do with player versus player, I'm so bad at, man. And the fury levels rise very quickly. Me playing Overwatch is a dangerous thing. So I have this big, long, hard, I'm with you so far, doubt, oh, of course. Um, how would you feel if the new Elder Scrolls game is in the early time, like after the creation of Nern? All right, um, well, this doesn't bother me at all. The problem with setting a game in the past is that you have a lot of lore conflicts because your character's doing things that conflict with the already existing written history. Because of course we've had games set before this one, and in those games they go, all oh, this happened at this year, then you set a game here and you're doing things that aren't part of that, and that's exactly what we need, more of a divide between Bethesda and the lore community. Can you please, please, please make more Elder Scrolls 6 videos, Morrowind was the shit. Yeah, sure. I do plan on working on some. I say that every month, and I know I say that every month because I say it. Got him. But genuinely, I do. I do plan on it. And I think I'm going to kick off this month with a pretty interesting Elder Scrolls 6 discussion video that I've actually written down. It's on the other side of this piece of paper and you can't see it. But the fact that I wrote it down, now that's something special. How long did it take you to grow your hair out? Uh, I think this is two years and two years and eight months. No, seven months. Two years and nine months. Will you ever do videos about mods beyond Skyrim? Bruma came out, so could you talk about that? I haven't had a chance to look at it, man. I'd love to play it, although making content on it, I don't know what I'll do. 1v1 me, camel, you faggot. I don't need to fight you. Your upbringing has already destroyed you. <laughs> Nothing for Bethesda Game Studios. In quotes, of course. What about Death of the Outsider DLC that's coming from coming up for Dishonored 2? Because last I knew, Arcane Studios had Bethesda as their publisher. You know what? I'm going to write this down as well. There's another video that I've been feeling that I need to make for quite some time. The lights flickering? Or am I tripping balls? The fuck's in this mead, boy? Alright, let's wrap this shit up and I'm calling a priest. Fuck. Now back to this, a lot of people get confused about this. There is a game studio, which is Bethesda Game Studios. That's the studio that makes the games, like Skyrim and Fallout. There is a publisher called Bethesda Softworks which publishes games. Arcane Studios is under the branch of Bethesda Softworks. So Bethesda Softworks publishes Arcane's games. However, this has nothing to do with Bethesda Game Studios. 
who actually make the games. So there are no new games from Bethesda Game Studios, as you've put in that quote, which is correct. And you were also correct in saying that Arcane Studios had Bethesda as their publisher. Yes, two different Bethesdas though. If you were in the Elder Scrolls, like that was real life, which what? If you were in the Elder Scrolls like that was real life, which Deja would you want to be your god? Shugorath, because he's fun. Bit of fun. Or Sanguine could hook me up with some fun shit too. You once stated that you would not cut your hair till the Elder Scrolls 6 came out. Are you still prepared to wait until 2024? Another video idea there. Who knows, man? We'll see what happens. Which DLC from Skyrim would you rather have? The Dragonborn or the Dawnguard and why? I also love your videos. Keep up the great work, boy. Thanks, Dylan. Dylan Lamar. That's weird. I know a guy called Dylan in a band called Lamar, so Illuminati confirmed. I would prefer Dragonborn, why? I don't know why, but when I look back at both of them, I go Dragonborn was better, so obviously that one. What nationality is he? Australian. Have you ever played Witcher 3 or any of the Witcher series? If so, do you th what do you think? Witcher 3 is amazing. Eight divines or nine divines? There are nine divines. The paths in which it took each of those divines to become a divine is irrelevant to whether or not they are a divine. Your video on hack dirt, who are the deep ones and what do they want, was my favorite video you've ever made. Thank you. It was a very hard video to make, but in the end, it's it's pretty good. Do you prefer a DLC similar to the Dawn Guard, most story and some new land, or Dragonborn, a lot of new land, little less focused on the main story? Again, Dragonborn, but specifically to this question, land is definitely an important thing to me. And not only that, but with big land, while it may be less focused on the main story, with that whole lot of big land, there's lots and lots and lots of more little stories, which I find to be much more interesting than the main stories. For example, the kind of things I cover in my detective videos. There's much more of that kind of stuff in a DLC like Dragonborn, opposed to a DLC like Dawnguard. It would surprise me if you don't own a massive bong. Well, be prepared to be surprised, boy. Because I don't need a fucking bong. I need mead. <laughs> if I smoked weed, I would get nothing done. I've got ADD and dyslexia. I don't need any other shit making my life harder. Oh god, please give me more Elder Scrolls content. I'm obsessed. So many years of playing Skyrim and discovering past games and lore and I still want more. Channels like yours give me life. Oh fuck. Give you life. Thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Do you ever still play Skyrim for fun? Um, yes and no. When I do play Skyrim, it's pretty much always... Hmm, is it? That's a tough question, actually. It's pretty much always to do with a video. However, I might read something or have a memory about some weird cave or something like this. And although at that point it's not to do with a video, it's to do with the potential findings of enough content to make a video on. Which, to be honest, while that is revolving around work, I do also find that fun. And even before I did YouTube, when having a memory of something or reading about some cool thing hidden away in a cave somewhere, for fun, I would go and check it out. So luckily for me, my job entails a lot of things that I would still consider fun. But purely for pleasure, like just playing through the game, I haven't done that for years, dude. Have you played Fallout 1 and 2? And if so, do you prefer the originals or Bethesda's reboot series? I played Fallout 1 for about two minutes, and that's it. So with that kind of vast comparison, I would definitely go with Bethesda's reboot series. Will you do a collab video with Gopher at some point? That would be Aces. Yeah, sure. If it made sense and he asked me to do it and I was like, yeah, that's, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, hit me up. Hit me up, Gopher. Let's do it. Camel, have you ever played RuneScape? I did when I was in like year three, like eight years old. I was so bad. Which is annoying because all my friends look back at RuneScape and go, dude, I love RuneScape. Like I had all this stuff, this sword, blah, blah, blah. And that's the kind of game I'm really into. And for some reason, I didn't get into it. I tried to and I was so bad. Like, I don't know how it works now, but when I played it, I started as a little dude, uh, I had like jeans and a black shirt on. And to progress any further into the game, there was a gate that I had to get through and I needed 10 gold to get through the gate. Well, walking around were like three old men with black shirts and jeans on and I had to punch them to death to get gold off them to get through the gate. And because we were like evenly matched, half of the time I would die, half of the time they would die. And when one of them died, it wouldn't give me enough gold to get through the gate anyway. So I went through that eternal loop for like two hours and I was like, fuck this game boy. And then I never played RuneScape ever again. Hey, fuck emus. Yeah, I was pecked on the head once, rude bastards. Emus know what tastes good and they go after it. What's going down? Oh God! As a kid growing up, what was your favorite Australian kids TV show? Someone's gonna get a real nostalgia kick from this.
fight. If two vegans got into a fight, would it still be considered beef? It would be considered leaf. Why the name Camelworks? How and why? It's an anagram of my name, which is Camelworks. You always say Morrowind is your favorite game, but you never make detective videos on it. Why? Well, that's a lie, boy. I've made two detective videos based in Morrowind. The um, Dwarmer Lesbians and Uncle Sweet Share. But I do tend to make less videos in Morrowind because there was no voice acting. Which when you're playing it, I actually think's better. Because you have to invest yourself into the game to actually know what the fuck's happening. There was also no map markers, so you actually had to read what the dude was telling you to know where you were going for a quest. Fuck, it was so much better. However, when making something to present as like a kind of cinematic experience for people, with Skyrim and Oblivion and the characters are speaking, it's so much better. Opposed to Insane Morrowind when I make a video on it and it's just me reading pages of text aloud. So it's less cinematic and less of a nice experience for the viewer. I mean, it's not awful, but it's just better when a character is saying it. Why has Nern slash Tamriel existed for so long and yet there is almost no technological advancement in thousands of years? Is it magic related? Well, who's to say there hasn't been technological advancement? I don't know for sure, but neither do you. But let's say the, the, the races of man that existed 4,000 years ago in Tamriel, how do you know that they have not advanced since then? Also, I suppose it depends at what time period you look at for the humans, but the distance between us now and ancient Rome is the same distance between ancient Rome and ancient Egypt, right? So that's a big time difference between ancient Egypt and ancient Rome. But to most people, when you just throw it out, throw it out there, they're like, yeah, it's the same, same time period. Yeah, some ancient pyramid stuff and some ancient Roman stuff, you know. Same stuff. And of course, while there were technological advancements between those two time periods, I don't think it's really big enough for an, a normal, non-historically read person to notice a technological difference between the two civilizations. And then of course, I mean, there was stuff from like 13,000 years ago who had big stone cities and civilizations. And when you look at the time difference between that and say the ancient Egyptians, and you look at their cultures, you're like, wasn't that much of a difference, dude. And it's a way bigger gap than in the Elder Scrolls. What country are you from? Australia. Do you listen to Slipknot? I haven't for years, but um, you know, I, I would say that I'd still listen to them, yes. Should I get a haircut? You can do whatever you want, Captain Duck. Tits or ass? I'd have to go ass. The older I've gotten, the more important ass is than tits. What Elder Scrolls game would you want to live in? And what is the first thing you would do? Morrowind? And the first thing I'll do would be join the Telvanni Wizards. Which would you prefer to get a remake of? Arena or Daggerfall? I haven't played either of them, but I am led to believe that Daggerfall was the better game. So, Daggerfall. Camelworks, if you were to rule a clan of slowed or sea elves, which would you choose and why? The Mayama, because they're not interested in turning me into one of their necromatic experiments. And the final question, the most important question of this video. Where were you when the emu bit you and how did you react? I'm truly intrigued. I was at a zoo in Nara. I can't remember what it's called. And it bit me and I went, ah! It's funny because it wasn't a peck. It, it, I had food on my hand, right? And it just went, and I was like, oh, what the fuck, boy? And then it was kind of like, this isn't food. And then it just let go. And then I had it arrested and uh, it's been in prison ever since. So that's all the questions. Again, if you would like for me to answer one of your questions, leave it in the comments of this video. And if you're lucky, it will be selected and answered in next month's monthly. So expect great things from me that I won't deliver. Put your expectations down here and you won't be disappointed, only impressed. Thanks for watching. Drink mead every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Keep fighting the good fight. Stay active, stay sexy, stay awesome. Um, the only two tags I can think of. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Yeah.